Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be stepping away from what I typically make videos about, that being the Civil Air Patrol, and talk about a process I went through recently, and that was picking the right college and then applying to colleges. So I plan to make a couple of videos about this in the different parts. So this first part is about picking the right college. Now please note right off the bat that I'm by no means an expert in this, there are numerous people who know way more about this topic than me, but seeing as how I just went through it and had to pick colleges and apply, I thought I'd share what I learned and what I think is important. So take what I say as a grain of salt, uh, look for other advice, and I hope it helps in some way though. So I'm going to go over four different factors you should be looking for when picking colleges. And the first one is your program of study. So right off the bat, you're going to need, you should have a plan with what you want to study. So whether that's law or engineering or nursing, then you need to go off of that. Different schools, some schools don't have certain programs. Some schools may not have engineering programs. Some schools may not have nursing programs. So the school you're applying for needs to have the program you want to study. Off of that as well, some schools focus more on some programs and some do not. And typically you can find that by a quick internet search if the school is known for, say, their nursing program. Then that might be a good indicator if you are looking to do nursing or the same thing with anything else. The second factor you want to consider is cost. That is a big deal and it seems like the cost is always rising for college. So look at um, in-state tuition is probably going to be cheaper, but look at in-state, out-of-state, what is the difference between a public and private university? All of these are things to consider, as well as financial aid and scholarships available. Going off of that, we have our third is location. This somewhat ties into in-state, out-of-state, but what kind of area are you looking for? Do you want a rural campus? Do you want it in an urban area? Do you want it close to home? Do you want to be away from your family? That sort of sets the standard. And then also going with location is the size of the campus. Do you want a very large public institution? Are you looking for a small private school? All of those are things to consider. And then finally, we have any additional items. And so this could be any number of things. Maybe you're looking for a school that's tied to a certain religion. Maybe you're looking for a school that has an ROTC program, certain clubs, certain activities. All of these are things to take into consideration. Although, again, I would say that program of study and cost and things will probably weigh above these in order of importance for most people. So once again, for picking colleges, I'd say the first thing to consider is the program of study then the cost and how you're going to pay for that college, thirdly, the location, and finally, any extra things you're looking for. And then a good thing people tend to say is you want to apply to perhaps three colleges, maybe one that you'd really like to get into, but you're not sure if you will, like your REACH college, one that you'll probably get into and that you still want to go to, and that would be like your goal college, and then one that you're almost certainly guaranteed to get into, and that's like your safety college. Again, it depends on what's right for you. Personally, I just applied for two normal, we'll say normal, not military academy colleges, and that's all I needed. That's all I wanted to apply for. For some people, they may apply to eight colleges. It depends on the individual. Again, I would encourage you to consider these factors, talk to family and friends, look online. There's so much information online. That's what I encourage you to do. Do your research, and then I hope the journey, as arduous as it may be, goes well for you. So that concludes this video. Again, if you have any questions for me about my personal experiences, you can leave them below, and uh, good luck.